Hello friends, in this video we will synthesize aniline by the reduction of nitrobenzene. Aniline or phenylamine, IUPAC name benzenamine is the simplest aromatic amine. It is a pale yellow oily liquid with not that pleasant smell and it turns dark on exposure to air. The materials required for the synthesis include 8 ml nitrobenzene, 18 grams of tin metal granules, 43 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid and 20 grams of sodium chloride. We start by taking a 100 ml round bottom flask and add 18 grams of tin metal into it. Now add the 8 ml nitrobenzene. We had prepared nitrobenzene in one of our previous videos. Link to that is provided in the description. Now attach a condenser over the flask and start reflexing the solution. Then add concentrated hydrochloric acid in small lots. I added about 7 ml of concentrated HCl at the time to prevent a vigorous reaction. This is the whole setup of the reflex. You can see that in the flask a vigorous reaction has already started to take place. Tin metal reacts with the acid forming tin 2 plus and tin 4 plus releasing electrons. Under acidic conditions rather than getting aniline directly you get phenyl ammonium ions. The lone pair on the nitrogen of aniline picks up H plus from the acid Hence, nitrobenzene is reduced by gaining electrons in the presence of acid. We have to shake the flask from time to time. Ideally, a magnetic stirrer is the best option. When the reaction dies down, another 7 ml of acid is added and this is done until all the acid is added. If you feel like the reaction is going out of control, you can use a cold water bath in order to decrease the temperature of the reaction mixture, thereby slowing the reaction. When the complete acid have been added, we keep the flask in boiling water bath for about 1 hour. Here is the complete view of the reflex mechanism and the flask is now sitting in boiling water bath. While it is being reflexed, we prepare a sodium hydroxide solution by dissolving 30 grams of sodium hydroxide in 50 ml distilled water. The reaction is said to be complete when a drop of the reaction mixture dissolves in sodium hydroxide, which in my case wasn't very obvious. Now, slowly add the sodium hydroxide solution to the reaction mixture with stirring. A yellowish white precipitate starts to form. These are the complexes of tin and tin hydroxides precipitating out. Continue adding the sodium hydroxide, eventually these precipitates will dissolve. You can use a water bath to cool from time to time. What is happening here is the H plus of the phenyl ammonium combined with the OH minus of the alkali releasing a molecule of water and aniline is separated out. Sometimes aniline may not separate out and this is also okay. Ideally steam distillation of this solution is to be done to separate the aniline but since the process is difficult I decided to go with a simple distillation. The temperature should go above 180 degrees Celsius so an oil bath was placed. At around 180 degrees Celsius you can see aniline distilling out with water as oily droplets.
collect around 50 ml of the distillate. After that, you can see no more of oily droplets are coming out. The distillation flask will have a black colored solution. Now we can stop the distillation. The distillate was poured into a separatory funnel and the distillate was washed with saturated sodium chloride solution containing 20 grams of the salt. After adding the salt solution, we cap, shake and vent frequently to release the pressure. After shaking for few minutes, we keep the flask undisturbed. After some time, we see that aniline starts to separate out as an oily layer on the top. Now we can take the lower aqueous layer and discard that and the upper layer that is the aniline. Ideally solvent extraction should be performed with DCM but when I thought of distilling DCM and then later distilling aniline, I decided to skip that part. But for my purpose, this purity was good enough. And here is the collected aniline. I got a yield of 6 ml which represents 74% of theoretical yield. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.